Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to uh, introduce you to a plain um, Lambda, HTTP Lambda, uh, without Quarkus, without the JAXRS part. Why? Because I get lots of questions um, whether a Lambda can have one or multiple methods. So what I usually do, I'm using in my projects and um, also in screencasts, this AWS Quarkus Lambda CDK plane as a template, as a starting point, and it, um, it just looks like a normal micro-profile application, so it's just an endpoint. Um, and the question is how it works behind the scenes. And um, sometimes I'm using a, a low-level version of this, and uh, this is another project. It is called uh, AWS Java Function URL. And what it is, is it's just a basic version of it uh, without Quarkus. So it just uses the function URL, which is uh, a basic uh, HTTP API gateway, and an AWS Lambda behind the scenes. So uh, let's take a look on this. So this is my account, it's an empty one. And then uh, this is the code of the CDK project, infrastructure as code. Uh, and uh, what it does, it deploys the Lambda. So it starts with a CDK app, which is, um, which is a main method. And what I'm doing here, I'm creating the function URL stack. And the function URL stack ships with uh, a POJO here. Pojo Lambda, and take a look on this. This is actually when, where ma the majority of the work happens. So what we have here, we have a uh, Lambda handler, which points to HTTP listener, which we'll see in a second. Some options, and uh, this is actually the, uh, the the main setup, and we see that we are using Java 11. We, we would like to run on ARM, and we would like to deploy the Lambda from this jar. And uh, there are some settings like memory size, function name, um, the environment, key value pairs, configuration, and the timeout. And what we are doing, we are returning the Lambda here. Okay, now uh, the interesting part is here, what I'm doing is, so, okay, hey, function, uh, please, you know, add the function URL configuration, which makes the function available uh, from, from outside via HTTP. What I get back is a HTTP URI. Okay, now take a look at the Lambda. And this is the uh, classic Lambda. There is no Quarkus, nothing involved. And what I'm doing here, I am uh, I get here uh, uh, the method on HTTP request gets called. And this uh, function is defined here. So if you take a look, this is the on HTTP request. So this is the binding between both. And um, so what I'm doing here, it is like uh, the old days, you know, 1995 or no, 1997. Uh, Java servlets. So what I'm doing here, I'm getting the methods, the handlers, the path. So this is what happens behind the scenes. Um, okay, so uh, let's try to deploy this. Um, so this um, this is actually clone of the project on GitHub. So um, I only have to invoke build and deploy don't ask and this will take a while. It will uh, build both projects and by the way, we, we, take a, we can take a look on the projects. So as you can see, there was an update. So um, Let's take a look, maybe, what happens behind, behind the scenes, this build and deploy, don't ask. So what I'm doing here, I'm just building uh, the uh, CDK project, and then I'm uh, deploying it, and the same happens in the Lambda part. So there's two Maven builds, and then CDK deploy. Okay, this can take 70, 80 seconds, and so see you in a minute. So it took over a minute. So this is our URI we got back, so I would like to pick the URI and just call the function. So just basic curl. And by the way, we can test the cold start and just do it. So this is the cold start. It takes uh, one second. So um, just remove now the time or do it again. So as you can see now it's roughly 100 milliseconds. But um, what I would like to do is just to try the hello part. And what I get back is hello from Pojo. So uh, what happens behind the scenes, so I got here the body, hello from Pojo. So, and um, if we take a look, so I could actually call it with a various path, so it doesn't matter, and it will work because it receives everything, and maybe even if I would try to say, you know, minus x delete, delete, so it will still work because whatever I do, this uh, function will process that and, and give me the results back.